Yes, when we sit around the table initially for table work, um, we didn't get to do as much on this project as I like. I like to do a lot, but um, what we did do is we went through the whole play and paraphrased it. So we put it into our own words for a couple of reasons. One, to make sure that every actor knew what they were saying. So if you're going to, to tr translate, it's not translating, it's all English, but if you're going to translate what's on the page into your own words, then we'll know whether you understand it or not. Also for those listening, because sometimes you forget that you don't have to only understand what you say. You have to understand what's being said to you in order to respond. So we have to make sure everyone around the table can truly understand. And also in that same activity, you begin to understand why there are metaphors and images. Because in the paraphrase, you realize, oh yeah, if I just paraphrase the spine of that thought, I miss half the speech. That's because the character is illustrating his point or uh, elaborating on a point, or taking a little detour to remind you of something else, and then getting back to the main point. So you, to, to, to be able to navigate that is important, and also to understand something that's really important with Shakespeare, and that is the long thought. And what I mean by the long thought is an, a, a character is about to say something, and you see that there's 40 lines of text before the period go, holy smokes, that's a long thought. It's like I say, you, you, you take your grappling hook of your idea and zoom, you send it out there. It clicks onto something and you make your way through those thoughts until you get to the end. And you have to know where you're going. If you just translate word by word or line by line, you don't have the long thought. You need to know where you're going. So all of that is stuff we do around the table. The more you work with it, the easier it seems because it's, it's familiarity. I mean, there will always be a little bit of a disconnect because there are, there's some archaic language. I have updated a few words. I mean, we, we often do that. Um, but there is still some archaic uh, vocabulary and construction. But in context, if you just allow yourself as an audience to sit back and listen, nine times out of ten, you totally understand it. Even though there may have been words along the way that you didn't know, or a turn of phrase or an expression that seems old-fashioned, but you really understand the whole package. 